Alright guys, I was wrong about Valkyrian Skies. Last video, I said some things that weren't entirely accurate, so I want to thank everyone that helped me by providing me with the correct information. Here are three things that I was wrong about. The first thing I said that I'd like to correct is that you can actually go downwards by pressing the V button, and not just by breaking balloons. By the way, you can also toggle cruise control by pressing C. The second thing is conveyors. You have to add them after assembling the ship, so you can actually make more complex builds on your ships, like a mobile base or something. By the way, if there's anything else I got wrong, please let me know in the comments. Oh, and also, a few things are actually fixed in the most recent update. Windmills work, but are invisible. And in general, contraptions work better now. Third and finally, I no longer believe that Valkyrian Skies is just a placeholder until Create Aeronautics comes out. You see, they both occupy their own niche. Create Aeronautics is for when you want to build complex and realistic engines and controls using Create, whereas Valkyrian Skies is perfect for making something work simply and quickly. Look at the TIE Fighters back there, there's no propellers or anything that would realistically make it fly. So Valkyrian Skies, or at least how it's presented with Eureka, is perfect for just making a functional ship with minimal effort. I'll be leaving a schematic for the TIE Fighter in the description. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.